the basic question is this, how can I create a company page on LinkedIn and not be able to have it aligned with my personal profile? I'm gonna show you what you can do in this video, but before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all this content for you. So if you look at my LinkedIn profile, Teddy Burris. You'll see, first of all, right here, I'm associated with Burris Consulting. If you go down here, you'll see that, you know, I work for this company and, and then because I have it on my experience section, I'm associated with that company. If right here, you can see I'm, I'm associated with SCORE because I have it on my LinkedIn profile. I'm not associated with uh, Outsource IT primarily because they've deleted the company page, but I am associated with the Bud Group, but only from a distance. Let me explain to you what I mean. All these different companies, some of these different companies, not all of them, I created, I managed. You can, you can find the pages that I manage by, you know, from the home page, from my personal profile, I can see the ones that I manage. My pages, right here. These are pages that I manage. You can also get the pages that I manage or own or and, and or created by going to me, and you can see here's all the pages, right? It should be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, so all the, they're the same list here that's over here. So I can go to any of these company pages or showcase pages from my LinkedIn profile and yeah, you know, or from the home page of where it says my pages. However, if you look like M. Joelli Photography, Platonics, uh, Front uh, Mind Coaching, Winston-Salem, Federal, Magnolia, Trifficient, and Physicians Connection, they're not associated with my LinkedIn profile in any way because you do not see them. The general public does not see those pages here. They're not accessible from my profile. So my point there is those pages I am not publicly associated with in any way. Now, can you? anybody can do that. You click on the work button, create a company page. Anybody on LinkedIn can create a company page. Now, Education pages might be a little different because education pages actually have two pages. There's the school page and the company page. LinkedIn would prefer that you create a company page for that school and then ask them to create an associated school page and you're gonna to need to validate your associated to do that. But for a company page, anybody can create a company page or a showcase page by clicking on create a company page and you can see that it gives you the option, go away here, gives you the option to do a company, a showcase, or an educational institution. So when you create these, any of these three types of pages, you do not have to associate them to your personal profile on LinkedIn. But you must be logged into LinkedIn as you, the human, I'm logged in as Teddy, in order for you to create a LinkedIn page of any type. And then you can manage the page, you can invite other admins, et cetera, et cetera. But all along the way, you do not need to associate any of those pages, if you don't want to, with your personal LinkedIn profile. Now, I recommend that if you're gonna create those pages, you be very purposeful about your goal, you be very purposeful about your followers, and you be very purposeful about the use of those pages to create real business value. Do not create a page for any uh, nefarious reason because that'll create a failure for you. But you do not need to have it associated with your LinkedIn personal profile. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator Strategist trainer and coach. I hope this is helpful for you.